physical quantities which are purely mechanical in nature can be represented in terms of fundamental quantities mass length and time they are represented by m l and t the letters specify only the nature of the units and not the magnitude the derived units are based on the fundamental units in such a case the dimensions of such units are expressed in general as k m raised to x l raised to y t raised to z where k is a constant and x y and z indicate how many times a particular unit is involved the dimensions of physical quantity are the powers to which the fundamental quantities mass length time temperature and electric current are to the round in order to represent the physical quantity the temperature and electric current are represented by k and i or a the expression which indicates the units of a physical quantity in terms of the fundamental units is called dimensional equation for example dimensional equation of velocity is v is equal to m raised to 0 lt raised to minus 1 the dimensional formulae of some physical quantities area a is equal to length into length is equal to l into l is equal to l square is equal to m raised to 0 L raised to two, T raised to zero. Volume V is equal to length into length into length is equal to L cube is equal to M raised to zero, L cube. T raised to zero. Pressure P is equal to force by area is equal to m l t raised to minus two by l square is equal to m l raised to minus one t raised to minus two. velocity v is equal to displacement by time is equal to by t is equal to lt raised to minus 1 is equal to m raised to 0 lt raised to minus 1 power p is equal to work by time is equal to m l square t raised to minus 2 by t is equal to m l square t raised to minus 1 r is equal to pv by t is equal to ml raised to minus 1 t raised to minus 2 into l cube by k is equal to ml square t raised to minus 2 k raised to minus 1 
electric charge q is equal to current into time is equal to at force f is equal to mass into acceleration is equal to mlt raised to minus 2 acceleration a is equal to velocity by time is equal to lt raised to minus 1 by t is equal to lt raised to minus 2 is equal to m raised to 0 lt raised to minus 2 density rho is equal to mass by volume m by l cube is equal to m l raised to minus 3 is equal to m l raised to minus 3 t raised to 0 electric potential v is equal to work by charge is equal to m l square t raised to minus 3 a raised to minus 1 work w is equal to force into displacement is equal to m l t raised to minus 2 into l is equal to m l square t raised to minus 2 gravitational constant g is equal to f r square by m1 m2 m l t raised to minus 2 l raised to 2 by m square is equal to m raised to 1 l cube t raised to minus 2 inertia p is equal to m into v is equal to m raised to 1 l raised to 0 t raised to 0 into m raised to 0 l raised to 1 t raised to minus 1 is equal to m raised to 1 l raised to 1 t raised to 1 gravitational field intensity is equal to e by m is equal to m l t raised to minus 2 by m is equal to l t raised to minus 2 kinetic energy k e is equal to half m v square is equal to mass into velocity whole square is equal to m raised to 1 l raised to 0 t raised to 0 into m raised to 0 l raised to 1 t raised to minus 1 whole square is equal to m raised to 1 l square t raised to minus 2 unit joule Potential energy PE is equal to MGH is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity into height is equal to M raised to 1 L raised to 0 T raised to 0 into M raised to 0 L raised to 1 T raised to minus 2 into M raised to 0 L raised to 1 T raised to 0 is equal to M raised to 1 L square T raised to minus 2 unit joule. Impulse is equal to F into T is equal to M L T raised to minus 2 into T is equal to M L T raised to minus 1 unit Newton second. Young's modulus Y is equal to stress by strain is equal to M L raised to minus 1 T raised to minus 2 unit Pascal.
coefficient of viscosity eta is equal to f by a into dv by dx is equal to mlt raised to minus 2 by l square lt raised to minus 1 by l is equal to ml raised to minus 1 t raised to minus 1 unit newton second per meter square Surface tension ST is equal to F by L is equal to MLT raised to minus 2 by L is equal to ML raised to 0 T raised to minus 2 unit Newton per meter. Principle of homogeneity of dimensions the dimensions of all the terms on the two sides of an equation are the same. In other words, the equation must be dimensionally homogeneous. Uses of dimensional analysis 1. To check the correctness of an equation an equation is correct only if the dimensions of each term on either side of the equation are equal. In this case, the equation is dimensionally correct but may or may not be the correct equation for the physical quantity. If the homogeneity of dimensions does not hold good, the equation is definitely incorrect. S is equal to ut plus half a t square dimension of the term s is equal to l dimension of the term ut is equal to l t raised to minus 1 into t is equal to l and the dimension of the term half a t square is equal to l t raised to minus 2 into t square is equal to l Thus, we find that each term has the same dimensions. So, the equation is dimensionally correct. Check the correctness of the equation P is equal to HDG where P is the pressure at a point H below the free surface on a liquid of density D and G the acceleration due to gravity. The dimensions of LHS and RHS are LHS P is equal to force by area is equal to MLT raised to minus 2 by L square is equal to ML raised to minus 1 T raised to minus 2 RHS H is equal to L D is equal to mass by volume is equal to M by L cube is equal to M L raised to minus 3 G is equal to L T raised to minus 2 therefore H D G is equal to L into M L raised to minus 3 into L T raised to minus 2 is equal to M L raised to minus 1 T raised to minus 2 hence the equation is dimensionally correct to convert a unit from one system into another. Since a physical quantity is expressed in terms of appropriate units of the same nature in all systems, the dimensions should remain the same, even though the number indicating its magnitude may differ. If a physical quantity of dimensions A, B and C in mass, length and time respectively has magnitude N1 and N2. In two systems having fundamental units M1, L1, T1 and M2, L2, T2 respectively, then N1, M1 raised to A, L1 raised to B, T1 raised to C is equal to N2, M2 raised to A, L2 raised to B, T2 raised to C. N2 is equal to N1. 
into m1 by m2 whole raise to a into l1 by l2 whole raise to b into t1 by t2 whole raise to c they are the units of force in si and cgs respectively dimensional formula for force in mlt raised to minus 2 let n1 newton be equal to n2 dynes n2 is equal to n1 into m1 by m2 whole raise to 1 into l1 by l2 whole raise to 1 into T1 by T2 whole raised to minus 2 is equal to 1 into 1 kilogram by 1 gram whole raised to 1 into 1 meter by 1 centimeter whole raised to 1 into 1 second by 1 second whole raised to minus 2. Since N1 is equal to 1 is equal to 1000 gram by 1 gram into 100 centimeters by 1 centimeter is equal to 1000 into 100 is equal to 10 raised to 5. Therefore, 1 Newton is equal to 10 raised to 5 dynes to derive the correct relationship between physical quantities when one physical quantity depends on several physical quantities then the relationship between the quantities can be derived using dimensional method to derive an expression for the period of oscillation of a simple pendulum the period of oscillation t of a simple pendulum may depend on 1 the length of the pendulum l 2 the mass of the bob m and 3 the acceleration due to gravity g let the form of the equation be t is equal to k l raised to x m raised to y g raised to z taking dimensions on both sides T is equal to L raised to X, M raised to Y into LT raised to minus 2 whole raised to Z is equal to L raised to X plus Y, M raised to Y, T raised to minus 2 Z. Therefore, K is dimensionless. Equating dimensions of L, M and T x plus z is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and minus 2 z is equal to 1. Therefore, z is equal to minus half and x is equal to half. Therefore, t is equal to kl raised to half, m raised to 0, g raised to minus half is equal to k square root of l by g. The value of the constant k cannot be obtained by dimensional method. Using other methods, the value of the dimensionless quantity k is obtained as 2 pi. Therefore, t is equal to 2 pi square root of L by g. The frequency n of a stretched string may depend on 1. Length of the vibrating segment L, 2. The tension in the string F and 3. The mass per unit length m shows that n is directly proportional to 1 by L root of F by m. n is directly proportional to L raised to x, F raised to y, m raised to z. Therefore, n is equal to k L raised to x, F raised to y, m raised to z, where k is a constant. Taking dimensions on both sides, t raised to minus 1 is equal to L raised to x into MLT raised to minus 2 raised to y into ML raised to 1 whole raised to z is equal to M raised to y plus z L raised to x plus y minus z t raised to minus 2y. Equating dimensions of m, l and t of the equation 2 m, we get y plus z is equal to 0, x plus y minus z is equal to 0 and minus 2y is equal to minus 1. Therefore, y is equal to half, z is equal to minus half and x is equal to minus 1. Hence, 
equation 1 becomes n is equal to kl raised to minus 1 f raised to half m raised to minus half is equal to k 1 by l root of f by m n is directly proportional to 1 by l root of f by m Stokes formula Derive Stokes formula for the viscous force acting on a spherical ball moving through a viscous fluid. The Stokes formula gives an expression for the viscous force F acting on a small sphere moving through a homogeneous viscous fluid. The viscous force F acting on the sphere depends on 1. N the viscosity of the liquid. 2 r the radius of the sphere 3 v the velocity of the sphere therefore f is equal to k n raised to x r raised to y v raised to z where k is a constant and x y and z are the powers of n r and v to be calculated putting dimensions on both sides we get MLT raised to minus 2 is equal to ML raised to minus 1 T raised to minus 1 into L raised to Y into LT raised to minus 1 whole raised to Z is equal to M raised to X L raised to minus X plus Y plus Z T raised to minus X minus Z. Since according to the homogeneity of dimensions, the powers of M, L and T on both sides of the equation are to be equal. X is equal to 1 minus X plus Y plus Z is equal to 1 and minus X minus Z is equal to minus 2. Therefore, F is equal to N raised to 1, R raised to 1, V raised to 1 is equal to KNRV. The value of K determined experimentally or by calculation is 6 pi. F is equal to 6 pi NRV. Limitations of Dimensional Analysis even though dimensional analysis is simple and a convenient method to derive an equation for a physical quantity, it has the following limitations. 1. In mechanics, this is not suitable if the physical quantity depends on more than three other physical quantities. By equating dimensions of M, L and T on the two sides, we can obtain only three dependent equations. 2. This method does not tell us anything about dimensionless quantities such as number, angle, trigonometrical ratio, etc. 3. This method cannot be employed if the right-hand side of the equation contains more than one item. 4. Quite often, it is difficult to guess the parameters on which the physical quantity depends. Significant figures Measurements made by any instrument are not absolutely correct. The numerical value of every measurement is approximate. The extent of approximation depends on the least count of the instrument used for the measurement. So, it is important to express the result of a measurement in such a way that the number of digits used for recording it should indicate the accuracy of the measurement. The significant figures in a measured physical quantity indicates the number of digits in which we have confidence in respect of their accuracy. It is those digits that are reliable plus the last digit that is uncertain. The greater the number of significant figures, the more accurate is the measurement. Rules to determine significant figures 1. All the non-zero digits are significant. 2. The number of significant figures in a number 
is equal to the number of digits counted from the first non-zero digits on the left to the last digit on the right. In a number 18.45, there are four significant figures. 3. All the zeros occurring between two non-zero digits are significant. In a number 180.045, there are six significant figures. 4. If a number starts with decimal, all zeros on the left side of the first non-zero digit are not significant, but all zeros on the right side of the first non-zero digit are significant. Example 1. The number of significant figures in 0 0.0001845 is 4. 2. The number of significant figures in 0 0.004030 is 4. 5. If a number has an integral part and a decimal part, all zeros in the number are significant. Example 1. The number 30.10 has four significant digits. 2. The number 30.00 has four significant figures. 6. Where there is no decimal, the last zeros are not significant. However, the last zeros are also significant if they represent the accuracy of the instrument. Significant figures in calculation. Significant figures in addition and subtraction. In adding or subtracting, the least significant digit of the sum or difference occupies the same relative position as the least significant digit of the quantities being added or subtracted. In this case, the number of significant figures is not important. It is the position that matters. Addition. If A is equal to 15.4 kilograms and B is equal to 4.391 gram, then A plus B is equal to 15.4 plus 0 0.004391 is equal to 15.404391 is equal to 15.4 kilogram subtraction. If A is equal to 10.43 and B is equal to 2.8612, then A minus B is equal to 10.43 minus 2.8612 is equal to 7.5688 is equal to 7.569. Significant figures in multiplication and division. The result of multiplying or dividing two or more numbers can have no more significant figures than are present in the number having the least significant figures. Multiplication If A is equal to 10.43 and B is equal to 2.8612, then A into B is equal to 29.8423216 is equal to 29.84. Division If A is equal to 16,000, and B is equal to 4.58, then A by B is equal to 3493.4498 is equal to 3500. After the development of modern physics over classical mechanics, it is now difficult to use the dimensional analysis for checking every equation. This educational program was presented by the State Institute of Education and Technology, Government of Kerala. 
your valuable observations and suggestions 